Hey guys, Scott here. If you're watching this video on YouTube, any links mentioned within this video can be found in the description, plus a link to this page. And this video is going to cover how to start your own blog. Over the past few years, blogging has become extremely popular, and that means that there has been a huge increase in people wanting to start their own blog, which also means that there are many people that want to start their own blog, but have no idea how. This is why I decided to make an entire section on my site dedicated to helping you start your own blog. You'll notice on the left here, there is a list of different tutorials relating to WordPress, helping you start your blog and also run it. I'll teach you how to make a blog using WordPress, as WordPress is the most popular blogging platform by far and is also the best. So why use anything but the best? Plus, when you make a blog with WordPress, everything is so simple. Installing WordPress is very easy and made even easier with my tutorials. And in a minute, I'll show you the back or the administration side of WordPress, which allows you to easily control your WordPress website. Now to get to the main reason of this video, which is how do you start your own WordPress blog? Just like any other website, to start a WordPress blog, you're going to need two things, a domain name for your blog and also a hosting account for your blog. I have a tutorial that steps you through the exact process of signing up for a domain name and hosting account for your WordPress blog. And you can find that tutorial by clicking the image link under this video. And you'll see that looks like this. You can just click that link or that image. You may have heard of sites like blogger.com or wordpress.com and others that offer free blogging platforms or, or that off, offer to host your blog free for you. I'm going to say right now that if you want to make any money at all with your blog or you want your blog to be taken seriously, you need to avoid any type of free hosting for your blog. Just to clear up the difference between hosting your blog with WordPress and WordPress.com, WordPress.com is a free blogging site that lets you start a blog using the WordPress blogging platform, but it's hosted from WordPress.com for free which you do not want to do. You want to host your own blog using the WordPress blogging platform. When you use a free blogging service like WordPress.com, you never actually own your blog and it can be shut down at any time with no warning for any reason. Plus, when you host your blog with a free blogging service, you don't actually get your own unique domain name, which is actually very important to get one. You actually get a domain name like yourname.blogger.com, which actually really reduces the amount of visitors you can attract to your blog, which in return really lowers your potential income. Plus hosting a blog on blogger.com or wordpress.com or anything only really benefits those sites as it provides more content for like blogger.com. There are many other reasons why you shouldn't use free hosted blogs. And if you want to read a little more about those, there is a section lower down here, which is labeled why free blogs are bad. And you can read through this, which explains in a little more detail why you do not want to use a free blog and why you want to host your own. Plus, if you scroll up a little bit, it talks a little about self-hosted blogs here. But basically, you don't want to use a free hosted blog. You want to start your own. It's not expensive and it's very easy to do. So there's no reason why you shouldn't. Okay, now to get back on track, let's have a look at the admin side of WordPress so you can see how easy it is to run your blog using WordPress on your own hosted WordPress blog. Okay, so here is the admin side of one of my sample blogs that I use for tutorials. This is what it will look like. To begin with, things may look a little bit complex, but it's actually very easy to use. And after you've gone through a few of my tutorials teaching you how to use WordPress or the admin side of WordPress, you'll find this very easy to use. So here's the main dashboard. And on the left here is the menu for the different options you have. You can go to appearances to change the theme your blog uses. So you can change the entire look of your blog just by telling it to use a different theme. You got widgets, so you can add in. Widgets are basically blocks on your site that add functionality like a newsletter sign up, a poll, a list of links, just a calendar, just heaps of different things like that. Widgets can pretty much be anything you need them to be. You just have to install the widget you need. You got your menus, you can make menus. You can change your background, header, there's all different settings you got. You got plugins, which plugins add to the functionality of your WordPress site. 
So you can add in a plugin that helps track like the stats of your site of how many people visit, what pages they go to, things like that. You can add in plugins that pretty much do anything. If there's something you need your blog to do, there'll be a plugin for it. You can ma manage users like who has access to your blog and whether they have access to the admin and that. You got the settings. Everything is pretty much point and click. It's very easy to use. Plus, whenever your blog, whenever WordPress come out with a new update, that'll be displayed here and they allow you to easily update your blog by clicking a single button. And if you look at your posts, so whenever you want to make a new post to your blog, you can click the drop down arrow there. Your posts, add new, you can change categories and stuff. Let's say we wanted to add a new post to our blog. All you do is click add new and this will load the add new blog post page. So here you just enter the title of your blog post, whatever it is. And then here you just enter the content. So let me spam that a few times. <laughs> so you just set up the page how you want it with content. You can insert images here, um, add video, add new audio, and add any type of media. So it makes it very easy. And then you just choose the category you want it in and publish. So you can see it's very easy to use WordPress. So that's all you really need to do to actually add a new post. So you just, usually you type it up in something like Microsoft Office or something first, and then copy and paste it into here, and then edit it to exactly how you want and post it. So you can see it's very easy to use. Everything's controlled from this admin side with point and click functionality. And like I said, I've got tutorials to help you with pretty much everything in this backend or this administration side. You'll notice on back on my side on the left here under the WordPress menu for setting up WordPress. So once you've actually got your own domain name and hosting account for your blog, you can come over here to installing WordPress, log how to log into WordPress, keeping WordPress updated, managing the users, configuring general settings, and basically other settings. So pretty much all the background stuff of setting up your blog, which is all done through this admin side here. So each tutorial has a video, so it's very easy to follow. So you can learn that pretty quickly. Okay, so that's the back end of WordPress. That's the administration side which controls it. Just to give you a quick look of what it actually looks like, like this is the side that people actually see, which I've put in just sample text, sample posts, and just sample everything. It's not an actual fully populated blog, but basically this is what people will see when they come to your site. And you, this theme can be totally changed by clicking new theme. So first thing you need to do to start your own blog is to sign up for hosting and get a domain name for your blog. There is a link to the tutorial that will help you through this process directly under the video, which is this image link here. So you can just click that and that'll show you exactly how to get your domain name and hosting account for your WordPress blog. And then from there, it'll link you on to the installing WordPress and basically setting it all up. However, if you don't have an idea at all of what topic you want to do for your blog and you have no idea of a domain name or anything, there are tutorials to help you with that, which you can find on the WordPress menu on the left here under choosing your blog niche, which will help you choose the topic or niche it's called in this case for your blog. And then also choosing a good domain name for your blog. So if you have no idea what you want to use for a niche or a domain name, you can use those two tutorials there. And I also just want to mention here that if you do want to make a like passive income online, a blog is very good for this and is actually what a lot of people do decide to use to start making money online. Basically, the way you make money from a blog is you simply just, once you've got your blog up and running, you simply just add some advertising on there and a few affiliate products that you recommend and you pretty much start earning money. I'll have full tutorials on this further, like later on, which will come after you've got your blog up and running. So that's all there is in this video. If you have any questions about starting your own blog, please do not hesitate to contact me. You can send me a message anytime using the contact me link here, which will take you to a form to fill out to send me an email and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So if you're ready to get your blog now, simply click this link here and you can start your own blog.